He's as cold as hell up in this piece. Great. Yes, Lord. DTD, because I'm not going to say his whole name. DTD. Safety from Texas Tech. We're gonna see. We're gonna see, see how we do this here. We're gonna see how we do this right there. Stacy requested this. He's in the chat already. Ask me what. Yeah, Louis. Chuck Clark, Whitehead yeah, type, split field and post safety. Had the speed to play center field, but I'm yet to see tape on him playing single high. Okay. I like hey. how y'all do y'all videos. I just watched y'all's uh, Jermaine Burton video. Appreciate you, man. Yes. All right, Jit. Oh. Those videos take about 15 to 20 hours to make. So, but I That's enjoy doing them. It's crazy to think about, though. Mm hmm. Most of it's just editing and like getting the graphics together for it. Yeah. But uh, Logan did a good job on his, uh, on his video with Graham Burton. I just got to get him not to be so damn monotone. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Dang, how many did we do over like the last like two days? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we cooking. All right. Appreciate everybody that's that's coming in and filing in. Let's go ahead and get this started, man. Yeah, they said nuts to butts, nuts to butts. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> That's I think crazy. he switched his number to number one instead of twenty-five. Ooh, I like Where his back. Uh, I like his back pedal right there. Hold up. Let me see. Okay. Watch how he gets up. Okay, the change of direction. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I don't know what post safety means. Yeah, never I heard that. To, I was just about to ask. I that never question. heard that term before. I, I've never. I was just about to ask that question, bro. I thought I was the only one that was tripping. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna say none because he probably. I never heard that term ever in my football, yeah. football career. Is that like? Are you saying because like the safety is in the middle of the field and the post is like? like I don't know. I, I'm thinking that's what it means. But who's TCU's quarterback last year? He's a big kid, bro. I don't remember. Isn't it the dude that it's it's cover seven? It's a cover seven ish. I've never heard that term ever. I fell out of Logan trying so hard to be serious that he lost all the inflection in his voice. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Dana, I saw your I saw your comment in the Discord. It's all good. It's all good. We don't we don't expect you to be on every single one, but we appreciate you being here. Playing a little bit in the box here, covering the flat. He's a quick little safety. Mm -hmm. What's their running back's name on TCU? Oh, uh, Bailey. Yeah, Amani Bailey. Yeah. He was good at the he, senior bowl too. Oh, he quick as hell. Mm hmm That dude look quick, little dude. Okay. He's playing deep. He ain't playing deep as hell. Look at him in frame of the play. Let's go, oh. man. That's what yeah, I like seeing. Dante's favorite thing. Feel me. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> be in frame of the play, bro. <laughs> I don't see no laziness out here. Oh, that was a, yo, he went at his damn knees. God, you seen that block uh Bailey put on dude right there? Or not mm -hmm. Bailey, uh the other dude. Might have been somebody else. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to pick your spot there. That's the most difficult like thing for a safety to that. most difficult thing for a safety to do. Do you help out your corner? But nah, you can't just let this this guy get free. You gotta read that. You got to trust your corner enough here that you got to stick inside the scene. One, two, three. The deep safety's got it covered. Bang. Mm. Bring us some help. 
I'll explain some other time. I don't want to type it. I've just never heard that term before. Post safety. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. All my years of coaching and shit like that, I've never heard that post safety. Especially like on defense. It's not like how like offenses where it has like so many like damn like elements. Like you got you could change up like defensive like concepts, but I ain't never heard of no damn post I'm I'm like Googling it. I don't I I don't even see that. That's what I'm saying. I know a lot of terms. Yeah, I don't know what damn post safety is. Oh, his name is Josh Hoover, by the way. Uh quarterback from TCU. Josh Hoover, yeah, that's who it was. The other zone defender, the post. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Let me read up on this because, like, I maybe it's called something else in my vernacular here. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Like, responsible for the middle of the field. That's what I thought it was. Because you in the, like, post, like, dude, Fish and said, I've heard of post it. <laughs> uh,. Let it go, bro. No, I I can't because I'm a sponge when it comes to stuff and I'm yeah. overly curious when I've never heard a term before to actually look it up and see exactly what you're talking about because I'm not immune to learning, but that is a very mm. niche term. Yep. Yes, sir. So post safety is just a single high safety. That's all it is. Yeah, like you don't gotta even call it a post safety, cause you just play in the middle, like of the field. So basically, a, a post safety. Okay, so if you had to draw it up real quick, right, Manny? Post safety mm -hmm. is this. So you got your defensive line here. Yep. And you got a corner here, nickel here. Oh. And a corner here and a single high safety here, and you got your linebackers or whatever formation you want. And then you got your money, you got your money dude right here, right? Mm -hmm. Your money is just going to be your box safety coming in and helping in a nickel. It's this guy up here. I've never heard that term. We just always used to call it the single high. Like, that's be like, you'd run that, like, kind of run that more like cover three because cover one, you playing man, so. We got a money backer, then you. I don't know if you want him like just waiting on if the running back's gonna like chip and then go out for a pass. Yeah. I, it's my first time hearing what a post safety is, too. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, you are right. The whole coverage gotta learn. Looks like a turn for a single high. Yeah. Mm hmm. Stacy, you aren't the smartest with your takes. What the fuck are you talking about? Stay, this is Stacy's first time. Fishing. What the fuck are you talking Yo, about, it's brother? On heads, bro. Why, why is he on his head? This is Stacy's first time in in this chat that I've seen. Why? Why are we? How do you know? The dude has not said anything. What the fuck is going on? We all love Off learning. Linebacker, yeah. Cause I might be wrong. Y'all got me second guessing when I'm repeating. Like I cringe when I hear off ball linebacker. I mean, you good. I mean, everybody has like, you got to think like certain, like every coach like says like things different. Like, I yeah. Know. I mean, I, again, I've never heard post safety. We just always call him the, the single high guy. Like oh, wow. we, we used to call it when I play like, a, who's the nine guy. I mean, cause you're going to be responsible for the nine route. <laughs> you're the last guy on the field. But, yep. I mean, you're generally going to run a – oh, wow, what the hell? You're generally going to run like a a nine route right up the middle of the field, most likely. I mean, or a post route. It's your post on both sides. 
Do you know why they call it a post route? Because you're you're running you're running straight and then you're curving to the middle like post, like the middle of the post. But do you know why they call it post? Um, uh, wouldn't be because the thing uh the uh damn how am I forgetting uh the thing that kickers kick through. The yeah, the field goal post. Yeah, the field goal post. So if you're running the post, you're running towards the post, right? On each mm-hmm. side. Yeah. I'm done talking about <laughs> nah, it's all good, bro. When in front of the end zone, that's exactly correct. Yup. Nah, bro, this is not good. It's a good discussion. But you don't, ain't gonna... don't let fishing discourage you because this is your first time in the chat. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. You ain't never gonna know, run no like nine route like with a uh, single high safety anyway. I mean, unless he's mad deep. No, oh, you're not tripping. We seen I seen the term in the playbook for somebody else's playbook. Mm-hmm. Can't put other moderators in timeout. I'm watching you fishing. <laughs> Is that what he did? Damn, fish a white on everybody's head today. <laughs> no, she's saying she can't put any other moderators oh, in, oh, in timeout. Okay. I'm going to do that right quick. Yeah. Money, baby. I'm six four, two hundred and six. Fishing, whoever he is, wouldn't, wouldn't want to see me. Damn, you a big boy. I ain't gonna lie. God damn, boy. Six four, two hundred six. <laughs> Dude, trying to test fishing right now. Fishing tripping right now. I don't know what the fuck he was going off on Stacy for. Mm-mm. Jared Wiley. Yeah, that tight end, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that him again? Oh, good tackle. Even though he kind of like missed the angle, he still caught him by uh caught him by his stomach. Or he didn't miss the tackle, but he missed the angle right there. He was just trying to. He still made the tackle. No matter how you do it. Why oh, is this shit stuck? Hold up, brother. Why do I have this right here? All the way up there. So you don't to hear that. Okay, there we go. That was a good throw. Right up on him. Mm. Take the angle, man. Take the angle. Mm-hmm. Bro, I would have never be high on a defensive player from the Big 12, but uh, DTD got something about his game. You said DTR. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter the conference. If you can ball, you can ball, even the group of five guys. That's, I mean, one of my biggest hits of all time was, um, and I said he was going to be better than Jadavion Clowney, was Khalil Mack. I I barely remember watching his film over and over and over. I'm like, dude, this dude's a fucking dog. Now the same thing with Chase Young, just because he went to Old State. I I said that he was going to be a fucking bust. I called that shit too. But I can't deny what he did in college. I just didn't think it was going to translate to the league. You know, Jared Wiley's a dog. Good tackle. I would have liked him to square up more on him. I mean. I said the same thing. He took a bad angle there. He took a bad angle. And he's a big dude, too. Mm-hmm. Look, 
<laughs> Look how big Jared Wiley is compared to him. <laughs> it's like a little kid running after him. <laughs> That's messed up, bro. Hey, he made the fucking tackle, though. Nice. Egg. Bro, can we just shut the fuck up about sizing each other people up in like the fucking chat, bro? I don't care. Good. You're 6'4, 200, dude, 6'4, 280. I don't give a fuck. Can we all just like enjoy this shit? Sizing people up on the fucking internet is some fucking weird shit, anyways. Mm -hmm. Damn, 13. You skating on these boys. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This quarterback, like, he looks type okay right now. Like, he. I think it's some, some good passes. I'm trying to figure out if 21, okay, now 21 must be a nickel. All right. Are they playing primary 425? I'm still trying to figure out what kind of, I mean, this is 425 yeah, right this, here. This looks like a 425 type of defense. I watched the Shrine Ball, and that's how I came across him. Yeah, we were at the Senior Bowl during the doing media at the Senior Bowl when we were uh, when the Shrine Bowl was around. I'm gonna try to see if the group can split up. Half of us go to the Shrine Bowl, and half of us go to the Senior Bowl next year. Bro, I always like when you can find another good player on uh, either defense or offense when you're watching the film study. That's coming out next year. Mm -hmm. and you got another name. Now, this is a 3 4 here. Like, what the fuck is going on? Switching it up a little bit. Who is their defense coordinator? Hold on. Tim DeRuder? I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but he's been there. I hear this man covered. Bro, this is a fucking dotty right here. You say he disguises a defense. Yeah, this dude, this dude is good. It was just a little off, but that shit. From what I'm seeing on here, man. Yo, put this name down, bro. Josh Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for next year or wasn't uh year. something Chandler their quarterback last year, like for yeah, half I, the season? I know, right? Is this like one of those later games where they put like a freshman in, like? I don't know. I can't remember where they played. But nah, never mind. Yo, 80's a dog too. It's Jared Wiley and uh Imani Bailey are playing, so he probably got hurt. Chandler Morris? Chandler Morris, that's who it was. Chandler Morris was ass. <laughs> He went to uh, North Texas transfer. It's crazy. Uh, he tried, man. He tried. 
But 80 is a dog, bro. That's that's two plays back to back that 80 made. Who's who's number 80 on TCU? Well, I get the idea. DJ Rogers, do they have him listed at tight end, Dana? Yeah, he's listed as a tight end. I just looked it up. He's a dog, bro. Sophomore? Oh, my God. Sophomore looking like that. Sophomore catching like that. I just oh. seen one of his pictures, bro. Dude, look old as hell. Head on a swivel. Got the interception. Number three's ass. <clears throat> Second and ten. This is definitely not a money belly for this game. He don't mm -hmm. like this game. Not much holes though. Ooh, what a catch. What a throw. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. What a throw. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. What's this news there, Josh Hoover? I was just waiting for you to say it. That's crazy. Josh Hoover. 6'1", 196. He was a freshman. That's why. You got a hey, freshman. He that. torched Oklahoma in his last game. BYU, he torched. That dude had 439 yards. Oh, he had 353 in this game. 300 against Texas. 412 against Baylor. Oh, this dude was cooking. Three star quarterback. North Texas offered him too. <laughs> That's money. Yeah. Um, What up, Burn? Chandler was the starter before Duggan. To, uh, he has a chance this year. No, he's gonna. He's not gonna be all that great. Josh is your injured lad. Late will miss spring. They had someone transfer in. Already told you he was yeah, a rich freshman. Oh, oh, I didn't. I didn't see it. My bad. Yeah, fishing. Uh, Chandler. Chandler's going to uh, North Texas. By the way, has anyone else heard about Cincy trying to get Justin Jefferson? I think it's just a rumor. Nice cap. That's too much money. Yeah. Their team would be dedicated to three players. <laughs> Jamar, 
Burrow and Justin Jefferson does, it's crazy. Bro, he's throwing. You're telling me that a four or five star receiver wouldn't have went after and got that shit? Hold on. Let me see if number three is like a like a highly recruited receiver. No. If you're going to TCU, I wouldn't, you're not. I wouldn't imagine him being like, no. If you're going to TCU, yeah. you're not. That's what I'm saying. Like, Savion Williams. Okay, you're a wide receiver. It's Great a tackle. Star. Yeah, he was like a four star. Chandler's gonna ball out just like TJ Family did. Stop. Mm -mm. He probably is gonna put up stats, but at the end of the day, like someone's gonna watch that film. I mean, of course it's an overthrow, but his receivers are doing nothing to tell you that, like, outside of number 80 so far, that tells you that he's willing to go up and, and overcompensate for something that, that's not, that, that could be there. I mean, the kid's a freshman. I'd rather you overthrow. I, I know you're new here, Stacy. I've coached quarterbacks. I was a quarterback. Like, I coached in high school. It's one of those things where you got the account for even overthrows. Over Overthrows are a good thing. We didn't stop looking at them as such a negative thing. It's a lot easier to tell the quarterback, just take a little bit more off of it. I mean, a freshman coming in that was filling in for Chandler Moores, like he's having a pretty good fucking game so far. And a lot of his throws have been on the money. I'm just saying I would have liked number 13 or whatever the hell his number was. To actually try to account for, you know, an overthrow pass because you don't know how much of that was in his vicinity and how fast he actually could be if he was running a nine route at full sprint. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that was number three. Got to run a little bit harder. Yeah, and in coverage, I don't want you underthrowing at all. So, if anything, it's showing off a little bit of his arm strength, which is really and then you got to think that is a difficult throw because like. If the receiver takes an inside release and he's like running a, a nine route, and then like the quarterback has to like throw him into like uh to the uh back corner of the end zone, like that's hard as hell. Yeah, I don't want people to look at overthrows as like such a negative thing because it's it's not. Yeah. Damn. Fridge. What up, Single high coming down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He bit. He fucking bit. Oh, that's a big negative. I want to see it again. Okay, so he was looking at the running back. I think. Yes. Well, he was looking at. He was looking at all these moves here. So. <laughs> and then he had to reaccount for going backwards. Oh yeah. my god, this is such a, a scene beater here. Coming up the scene. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. This mm -hmm. is bad. I mean, I, I can't overlook this. You came off your assignment trying to this is one of those things where I've pointed to players on film too. You're trying to be a big brain guy. I get it. I get it. You're trying to account for something down here and make and make the big play. First down markers right here, and you're actually well. That was a really bad line, but you're trying to account for the first down marker being here. And if you can get a play behind the line behind the first down marker, then it's a good play. But this is where the trickery happens. What do we got? A read inside for a running play. We got two out wide receivers, which should be your first indication right there that any one of these two, even for this safety, look, he's already trying to account for it. Mm -hmm. He's already, he's already going back this safety on so far on this play is a little smarter. 
You mm-hmm. are putting so much pressure on the corners. On the corners because you want to cheat up and make a good play. You got one, two, three linebackers plus an edge here. This he edge is going to get. Something. He probably saw something on film. I'm thinking, like, that. if anything, he probably should have stopped right here yeah. and let this guy account for it here and see if this corner can help. Maybe get out wide this way, and you can still prevent this first down from happening. But because he wanted to overcompensate and be on his Monchismo shit, he just let this dude. Yeah, and the safety, the safety on the other side probably he was probably. Oh, and it wasn't. And it wasn't even the, the outside receiver. It was Amani Bailey. Yeah, it was the running. So back. Amani Bailey just ran an inside wheel route, <laughs> and you expect the linebackers to account for this? You, this right here is an example of not doing your job, and this is how you can lose your fucking job in the NFL right here. And what makes it even worse? It wasn't even a good. I wouldn't even say that was a good play call by the by the OC because you got you got everything covered. You got this guy covered, this guy's covered. The only person that wasn't covered is the dude that the safety should have been on. Mm-hmm. This would this would have actually just been a check down if anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you prevented a check down because you want to be on this Monchismo shit. <laughs> you expect this linebacker like, to keep up with you with Amani Bailey downfield. Bro, really the only thing that was also open. Yeah, if if that was if that's the dude's route on the uh, on the outside, bro, he's he's kind of locked up there on that comeback. And then you got the dude running a uh, fade on the other side of the field, and you got the dude motioning across the field. Yeah, bro. Everything was locked there. That is locked. I don't know what are you talking about the manchismo. I don't know what the hell that mean though. No, I don't. I no, actually never mind. Yeah, manchismo actually, meaning like you just you're just trying to. Dante, can you can you uh redo uh re, not reverse uh go back to the play? I just want to see if someone was running with the uh with uh with the uh tight end not tight end the other dude. No, it's not man. Never mind. It, I don't not, know. It could be man because he wasn't running with uh the dude that was motioning, and I'll just tell you that's man. The only two dudes that are in man are the other corners. Corners, yeah. Probably zone right here. Yep. Everybody else is in zone. Yep. I think this is a form of zone with love. Two men on the outside. I'm telling you, this is what this is what the play call probably was. All right. So now we got. One, two, three, four DBs, right? Mm-hmm. Traditional four, three, right here. This guy was just supposed to cheat up just to make sure that he covers the flats. I'm I'm sure that's what it was. Help this guy, help this guy right here, covering the flats. But he bit so much that he didn't account for Monty Bailey running this this route right here. I so now you what, you put yourself in trouble. This is a coverage, that's that's what uh Dallas does, right? With Dan Quinn, match coverage, right? Where they they playing like anything over, but they still playing man. No, this is man. Yeah, that's just regardless man. if you're regardless if you're back here. Mm-hmm. As soon as you turn your hips to be on a guy, look. They got two guys out there. Got man, man. Everybody else. He's not. This wouldn't even make sense. Yeah, that's. You got a single high safety here playing, splitting the field up right here. That's pattern match. It would be a lot more different. Than he's that. man. Then, he's think, man. Pat, yeah, pattern match. You never have the corner. I don't think you have corners like playing like that close at the bottom. You'd have them playing a little bit like deeper, like five yards deeper. And then like if they beat, if they try to beat you anything over, like. Yeah. I don't think this is match because uh, look. Why why would you design this guy to be out here so wide and this guy to be here as a single high on this side of the field? Your first indication is I can help this guy in case he gets inside here, and then I can also come down and cover the flat with this linebacker. It's the only reason he's playing so far off right here. You're trying to account for that on this side. And they're in the goal line, well, you know, opposite goal line situation. They're they're right up they're right up here. Yeah. Same thing with this. That's that's why they have DTD cheating down here. 
Mm -hmm. This was all this was all disguise, like make them feel like that we're going to run some type of blitz package here. Yep, blitz package right there. But again, wanted to be a big play safety, come up here, and then didn't account for Amani Bailey being out here. I mean, I love it. That's I don't think that's pattern matchup, Brody. I, I think you're tripping with that. I, mean, I see what you a little bit what you're saying, but it can't be pattern matching if you got corner at the bottom playing like that type of man, and then you got the other dude or not the other dude playing a little bit off. But you the the dude at the bottom should be playing a little bit off. This pattern. If matching. if anything, what should have happened is this play. This is the strong side. One, two, three eligible receivers here. Strong side. Weak side. Your weak side backer is following Jared Wiley in coverage here, which makes him cheat over a little bit. These guys here should have slid as well. And this would have took care of Amani Bailey coming out the middle here. One of them should have chipped him here. That's what the play should have been. But then since he wanted to come down here... <laughs> And, and totally play off and crash down. It just put my, it, the thing is, if yeah, this wasn't the case, it. he, the, this linebacker is covering this area. And this is only for a safety valve, just in case this guy needed help. Mm -hmm. And he needed help, but it was way too late. Cause I'm sure they were worried about this tight end instead. I'm sure this was his read, not. Mm -hmm. Not Amani Bailey. And Stacy, you don't gotta rush it, bro. Like, just I mean, I might not even be right, but like, and I'm still trying to learn just like you are, but you don't gotta rush it. I mean, keep learning new things, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm going not. at your pace, I'm going at mine. Man, like unfortunately. Gotta, like nah, I'm just listening. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I'm I'm going at my pace. Like Yeah. So matches they the coverage changes based on what the receivers do. If it is man, yeah, if he is a running the road, outside yeah. receiver, then probably probably Bailey. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's what it is. That what more of what Dana said. Like if you, yeah, if you if they plan everything over because I know this because like Trayvon Diggs does this a lot and they used to do that. Um, with Dan Quinn, um, boys. Yeah. he kind of explained that a little bit. But that would be that's a huge red flag. That's one of those things that you just can't. And if it hap if it happens again, mm -hmm. can't do it, bro. Because if you've seen on film, bro, you can't do it again. Yeah, they definitely gonna ask that dude about uh, that play in the draft process. Some dude said my takes on JJ have been biased when I've watched how many fucking film studies at this point. That's crazy. Whatever. Good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Fall back on this edgy shit. I'm not entertaining nothing small. I don't at all. Yo, hey, yo, what that mean? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yo, I never heard nobody say that. Damn. I don't even know what that means, brother. <laughs> yo. I'm confused. That's crazy. Uh, anyways, that, hey, see that one play, bro. It was on that for a good minute. I'm so relaxed on this beautiful Saturday. I'm relaxed too. Nobody's got an attitude or anything. I'm just telling you, I'm going to go at my pace. But 
when you, when you say stuff like let's go to the next play, I'm not done talking. We'll move on when I'm ready to move on. I'm just trying to see it from as many different angles as possible to see if there was anything that DTD could have did better on that play. Was it truly his fault? I don't know. I don't know what it what it is within those four walls, but that's that's what I'm seeing from the film, bro. Nobody's being edgy or anything like that. Playing deep there. Like man, deep. Oh, that was a good play call. That was a little, you know. I mean, I was nice enough to take your suggestion, bro. Cause I could have just did what I wanted to do. It was lie out to lie to. But I took your suggestion. I don't know how nice people can be. I'm not being edgy. I'm just, I'm just trying I'm just trying to help help y'all understand the game, man. There's different ways to slice a cat. I'm totally good. I'm one of the most positive people that you'll meet. I tried to give people chance after chance after chance after chance, bro. So we here we here to we're here to help you, but if I'm in the middle of explaining something, I'm not just going to move on from it until I give the play absolutely every single, um, you know, every single chance I can get. Jesus Christ, bro. What are you doing, brother? Oh. We on the same page. All right, that's all good, brother. Like, yeah, we we good. Ooh, this one's bad too. You see this right here in the flat on the top? He's down yeah. in the box. He trying to cheat down. Yeah, that was good getting right in front of the receiver because you're helping your corner there. But like, he that's committed return, way bro. too far. He thought he was going to be here. Yeah, he he sold that return route pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he thought he was gonna be there, and then that yeah that route got him. Mm hmm. Little I mean, stop. you would chalk that up to being a, a man to man snap right there, even though it was he was just reading what he was doing. But mm. that happens. I mean, I I'm feel not, like it was too, I'm not too sure too if he's he's the best. Play, like playing up. I don't know if he's going to be a good, like, strong safety. Playing free might be his thing. But, like, he free might be his thing. Oh, damn. Yeah, free might, might be his cup of tea. This camera work is nasty work, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, this guy's good, man. This QB. Yeah. Look at that throw. Slicing up. I'm trying to see that one more time. No, this is 2023. Was that like a little speed out? I, I only watch one game of their yeah. previous year in my four evaluations. But for the film studies here, I always try to do in year. Weird. Or in the current year. Or the most relevant year, not the current year, but the most relevant year. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but that Wiley dude is big as hell. Yeah, Jared Wiley is is he just <laughs> he looked big compared to the other linemen while he's just sitting down. Ooh, oh, he got one. Oh he my one god! Play? I don't think he did. I was about to say I don't think he did. That's crazy because he hit him out of bounds before he even hit the ground. Where's homie at? All right, they got him in a nickel now. Oh my lord. All right. What up, normal guy? I was about to say, this is about to be a fucking disaster, man. Right? Pass play. 
Oh, Ooh. he got that. <laughs> Damn. Nah, you're right about that. He definitely is a free safety. Yeah, he's definitely a better free safety. He's a good uh, free safety. Striding down the field. I'm impressed with his free safety skills. I'm, I mean, this all this switching back and forth with him playing in the box and then in the nickel and all that shit. That shit ain't working. Not everyone is Brian Branch or Kyle Hamilton, dog. Mm hmm. Not everyone's like that. Oh, Brian Branch on the film. This is fuck, was fucking incredible. Okay, he was right there. He was right there. He was step for step with them. I mean, if the quarterback threw it still. Uh, yeah, but that's that's number three or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That dude's Dude cheeks. Have. That dude's ass. Yeah. 13 for TCU is all right. Solid. Speaking of him, was that Quentin Johnson the the mini version? <laughs> what the fuck uh, was that? I think. Oh, this is when they're redoing this the stadium. These these people sitting in that little asshole up there. <laughs> Single high here. Are they getting messy? Uh, never mind. Nah, not really never messy. Mind. That's funny when you ask your coach, "Is this?" <laughs> This is a no, mesh concept. He's a oh hell no, nah, brother. <laughs> Yo, bro, too. I thought I saw something. I didn't see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> see a little, see a lot, see nothing. Jimbo Fisher used to say that shit. Mm -hmm. I hate the one leg sleeve. That shit drives me crazy. Really. Yeah, I hate that shit. Damn, bro. You know, we can't speak for uh, everybody. Mm hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't speak for that. <laughs> oh, I mean, my God. Crazy. I, I, Hoover got good drip. He got good drip. If he made that throw. Damn, he was so close to getting that, but he just slipped. Oh, no. I like seeing it from this angle because this is the best angle you can get as a safety. If they, you could just as long it. as they got the right people in play, that's the only thing about that angle. Mm hmm. Ooh, oh, no. He's not the best blitzer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh what dude? Yo, did he make the play? Yes. This dude's him. That's crazy. This shit remind me of Bo Nix, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. What I, yo. I ain't even gonna is, lie. That is crazy. So you little Bo Nix is showed up. If this Andy dude's not the starter next season. And he's got his number on. Uh, you, you sure? I mean, it's kind of looking like uh dude that was at TCU. Uh Max Dugan. No, I'm playing. Mm, Max Dugan. <laughs> Max Duggan. Oh, uh, step up. Ooh. Okay. Damn, <laughs> how that dude jumped high as hell in the air? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Monty Bailey's not having the best game. Mm -hmm. So Hoover is promising escapes to rush well. He does. Nice. Oh. 
I might have to message Josh Hoover. Josh, I'm still in this, by the way. Oh, no, no, no. You good. You good. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Is, is Josh Hoover on Twitter? Josh Hoover? Yeah. I can just go on my little account. He is. Like, what's good, Josh? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Where'd he go to high school at? Uh, let me see where it says. He's a three star. Let me see where his high school was. Rockwell Heath or Heath. Yeah, Heath. He's from Heath, Texas. All right. Sorry. I had to message him real quick. Rockwell Heath. He's cool. That's cool as hell. Okay, Omani. Okay, boy. Turn me okay, up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> turn me up. He said, house them up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he runs hard, bro. God. He was like that the senior bro, bro. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, grunt in the hell. Mm -hmm. hell. You know, you know when you run it hard, you be like, uh, bro. Uh, oh, you run it? <laughs> I can't stand when people do that. That grunt and stuff in the middle of like you know, you, so you know you're playing hard, man. Just get play I right know. there. I just, I wasn't used to it. I was like, nah, I wasn't familiar with your game. Don't be trying to do nothing fancy, man. Just get in there and wrap up. That's it. That's all you got to do. So the whistle is blown. Nice. Get to the check down uh, under pressure. Damn. He got flipped. How are you supposed to tackle in the NFL now? Like, because you can't hip drop. It's going to be a big change for a lot of these guys. Yeah, I don't know. Flipped his eye. Monty Bailey getting drafted or UDFA? Ah, uh, he's probably gonna be UDFA. Well, he could get drafted. It's not if if he there was, was like, there was a lot of buzz after the Senior Bowl, but I haven't heard any more. But I'm thinking that he's probably either gonna be a seventh or UDFA. Yeah. It's a talented running black. Uh, running black. black. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Back I, I feel. I feel you. <laughs> running black. <laughs> no, no. Stop. 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 He is black and he's a running back. So running, <laughs> he's a running black. Nah, running back class. Oh yeah, he wide open. Bro, oh, that was a good pass. Nineteen was open, but I see why he did that. Got him right up on him, where the uh, corner can't get the ball. Dang. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, 13. I'm 13, telling you, bro, 13, 13 and 80 are pretty good. good. Yeah, 13 having a good game right now. Come on, three. You're supposed to be the four-star. Yo, if 13's a damn three-star or two-star, cook. He didn't even try to get up there, and he knew it was a run. Uh. Mm. Damn. He could have easy he could have easily stepped back because he knew that this dude was gonna block him, bro. Oh, Damn. that's so annoying. You know that you weren't gonna tackle him in the backfield because that guy's right there. You run at full steam just to get cooked right there.
I was saying go to the next play because I was saying once you make a mistake, move on and don't let that affect your game. I was Ain't talking to him. No, nah, I get you, bro. I get you. Two, four, but you seven. realize how it seems like it comes off like that to us. Oh, he was a four star too. Okay. No need to explain yourself, brother. We we've moved on. The past is the past, man. Small things to a giant. I'm not even trying to disrespect number three, but I think that was his first catch of the game. Like, I don't know if he had another one earlier, but damn. Damn, brother. Ooh. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Sir. That was obviously miscommunication. I mean, I don't think Jared could have went up and got that pass anyways, but... Shit. They're just ready for it. Cody Campbell filled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared Wiley fucked up. So far on DTD, what you thinking? Solid, but lots lots to work on. I I love him at free safety. Um, I think he's really smart at reading the pass when, when there is open field playing in the box. I think he gets a little confused. I don't know if he, if he wants to dig in for a play every single time. I don't know if he really knows how to navigate between the pass and a run. I think he gets really confused when motions around, he gets really confused. And I'm I'm not sure what that is with him, but it seems like when he's back there by himself, he's he's way better of a player. I mm -hmm. I would give him that. No, I agree. Um, and and his tackling is subpar, but I think that this tape so far is better than when we watched uh, Jaden Hicks earlier. I think Jaden Hicks has less to work on as far as like. He has less to work on as far as like being able to play both because he can play free and strong and he can get there and he can make a play and his motor's really, really high too. And I like that. His tackling just sucks. And I'm not sure how he would be in coverage. I'm gonna watch more tonight. But from right now, if I had to rank one of the uh, one over the other, I would say I would probably draft Jaden Hicks over him so far. But it depends on if he's going to go there and strictly be a strong safety somewhere. That's just kind of like how I'm ranking him in my mind from what I've seen. I think it does affect him like he isn't playing with the same fire he was with before he messed up. Yeah. See, like right there, you can't play safety and not be able to tackle a fucking wide receiver. What I'm saying, like, you can't do this. All about them angles. Day two or day three. Yeah, I think he's. Like, I think Jaden Hicks is like a round five guy. I think he's like round six or seven so far. There's a clear lie. difference between him and Cam Kitchens. That's what I'm saying. He fast as hell, though. Mm hmm. I was give him that. He definitely fast as hell. It seems like he was the main communicator on this defense, like white hand and Chuck Clark. I don't see his communication skills on display at all in this game. Damn. I was a, you know, if that pass got completed and he had his oh, foot, man, oh, I really, know, I know, that would have been a really good pass. Bang, drag route, cross the middle, bang. I mean, number nine might be a better safety than him, to be completely honest. But yeah. no, nah, he's he's a communicator on a defense. I've seen him do this like five times already, trying to get people set. He's ranked in the top 100. I don't go by other people's rankings.
See, like number number nine's a hell of a player so far. I just need to say a little bit more. But that's other people's boards. Yeah, I don't really care about this shit. <clears throat> when I do my evaluations, everybody starts at zero, even the, the best of players. Mm -hmm. just like with anthony richardson i'm not gonna i'm not going to uh base my opinion on any player before i watch the film anthony richardson was the same way I'm, i wasn't super high on him because i knew his his lows were really fucking low Your athleticism and all that doesn't wow me. Arm strength is impressive. Athleticism is impressive. Yeah, of course. But the dude never won games. I've never seen one Anthony Richardson game and was like, yo, this this guy is a beast. CJ Baskerville. That's number he got nine. An arm, I'm not going to lie to you. This dude arm is pretty good. CJ Baskerville. DB height 6'3, 215. Oh, he's a big kid. It's See, that's a right that's here. a that's a safety size right there. Mm-hmm. Dude, Josh Hoover dice him up. Mm -hmm. He I feel like he got a really big arm though. I was gonna say that. Playing for the Red Raiders again in 2024. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that dude big as hell. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Damn, I should not have been eating a potato with this guy. Damn. Let's see. In the slot. Is that 13 again? You don't work on these dudes. Five is a big defensive tackle. God damn. That <laughs> big ass jersey. He's that guy oh, held up right there, too. It's crazy. Bryce Young is receiving more hate than AR and CJ. I don't like that, honestly. I don't either. Because if I, I'm willing to bet with all, all the cards on the table, bro, if CJ or AR was on the Colts, They'd be doing the same shit. Ooh, damn. If not worse. You mean the Panthers? When and if Young has NFL success, that will quiet down. Yeah. You couldn't even get a veteran to come out there and turn that team around. They were terrible. Shout out to Slade, though. He thought they were going to be a beast. The Panthers are supposed to be solid. Oh, he got a he got a live arm, bro. Mm -hmm. He got a cannon. He be jumping off them. Okay, money. Ooh, is that number nine? Oh my god, this dude's a dog, bro. He knows how to fucking tackle and cover. Put him on the list, Dana. Put him on the list. The boy Baskerville. <laughs> oh, he went for his legs. Let's Dang. go. I seen I seen enough. What if they put him at like nickel instead of free safety? Or just safety in general, period. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really confused by his game. They could I could see that. I feel like, you know, somebody somebody gonna take him at like a safety. Free safety role. Because we can get in the NFL, the dude's as big as hell, so. Mm hmm Go on, money. Got that thing. Caroline is a dumpster fire at the moment. I say that as a Cards fan. Oh, man, got that fucking, crackhead speed. Fucking owner is, he's, he's a shit owner. Yeah, Carolina and Cards, same thing. Oh, is that him again? 
Nah. Bro, this is a different dude. Oh my god, I had to change that restream message. Even Dana yelled at me. She said, You need to change this. <laughs> yes, I know. And I still haven't done it. Is that number nine again? Don't don't tell me that was Baskerville again, bro. Crunch. Damn. <laughs> Yo, he a he a Damn. beast. He is a beast. I feel bad watching that for the uh for the uh the uh, tight end there. Damn, he took his legs out. Okay, now number three starting to finally get it going. I'm surprised they run. You know, a you know a player's just okay when you start focusing on other players. <laughs> and he's still not standing out on film. Like you just try to look away from him to see if he actually comes up on the play. And he ain't showing up. That is crazy, bro. Number nine is a dog. Mm hmm Bang. The motion. Cover the middle. Right on top. The tackle. I like it. I can dig it. He tried to switch the look on him right there. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how a quarterback do it, bro. Especially at the college and NFL level. Like, you got to know everything. Y'all have a Discord, right? Yeah, we got a Discord. I like it. That's what we would. We doing, man. All right, single high. Bang. Good tackle. Was that number nine again? Yeah, yeah. it was number nine again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta see that. Like, and the other angle. Yeah, this one. The angle I'm trying to see. He met him at the the point of contact. Let's see. Bang. Zite. Yeah. Zite. <laughs> it's really more the other dude too. Oh, okay. I mean, that's. Jaden Hicks was better overall in his game. I like that tackle. Confrontation point. Damn. Good tackle. You know, that is a big dude, too. Mm hmm. Let's go. He just does not want to play up on the line either. It's like, brother.
Oh, Bryce Young at bus. CJ Stroud was always a better quarterback. AR-15 was having a strong season before he got hurt. <laughs> yep, that's the narrative that they'll push. Mm -hmm. We know who Bryce Young is. Well, it's like a game time type of drive right here. Mm hmm I want to see what he really going to do now. Yeah, okay. Good little pass break up there. Go back to the down and distance. 127. Virginia Tech is winning. Mm hmm Second and third to go. Let's go, Josh Hoover. A little slant. Bang. Yes, sir. All right, y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. Yeah, man. You too, man. Appreciate you coming through. Sir. One on one. Yes, sir. Who was he on that play? Might have been so deep. Can we tell? Okay. It's another one. Nine is a dog. Mm -hmm. Nine is a dog. It's not he could have did there, but bang. <laughs> yeah, now they're keeping him at free because they know his ass been get cooked this game. Uh, at this point, it's just scramble drill. Throw the ball away. Yep. Smart play. Ah, oh. damn. You hate to see it, but. You hate to have the, the game in like the. And was that. Bro, him? it's because the receiver dropped, stopped on the route. Yeah, you got to keep running, man. He's a better free safety, though. I give him that. That was him? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the second pick of the game, right? Mm-hmm. He almost had three of them things. I don't know, man. I'm I'm conflicted because I think he's a really good ball hawk and free safety. He yeah. just sucks at tackling. He's how much how much, how much picks did he have last year? Let's see. I believe he had four. So damn, this was like half of his picks. <laughs> yeah. Like we need a we really need a second game. Yeah, uh, he had four interceptions. Four picks last year, seven pass defended. Three solo tackles. Damn, he's been here for five years. Okay. I mean, that's why am I saying it like that's crazy? That's really how long he's supposed to stay. Yeah, that dude, CJ Baskerville, though, is a fucking dog. He had 11 tackles versus Kansas. Nine versus Texas. Seven versus UCF in the pick. Okay. CJ, yeah, I like bro. Josh Hoover's that dude, though. Yes, he is. Outside of that one play. Do we need a second game? I'll try to only keep these to, to one on here, so. That's not but. Good. I'll let you guys know what my verdict is after I watch a couple more. I wanna I wanna get a couple more in on my free time. But usually with these players this year, opinions haven't really swayed on on other games. Like mm -hmm. I mean, this is the game that he had the most snaps in. This is a really good well, not a really good. This is a a, a better TCU team as the year started going on than they were at the beginning of the season. And they were playing at home. So I don't know. I think that's the best that we're probably going to get from him. And safeties are usually, they usually play like this all the time anyways. But 
I'll see. I'll let you guys know. Hey, man, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go get something to eat. Me and Sora are going to be back here in a little bit to do Dwayne Carter. But, um, yeah, guys, we appreciate it.